Here is my recap for Dexter Season 8, Episode 11, which is the episode before the final episode of the series so far. Uh, Because as we all know, the new season of Dexter, Season 9, is going to be coming up in November. And uh, after a hiatus of like eight or nine years, it is finally coming back. And we're going to see where Dexter is. But uh, we got to find out what happens to him in Season 8. Uh, This episode is aptly titled Monkey in a Box, which is a good way to describe it because this is where things start to kind of go off the rails a little bit. And it was just this episode was kind of all over the place as they're trying to tie up some storylines here. Now, there wasn't anything at all with Masuka or his daughter in this episode at all. There wasn't anything about Batista at all. This was strictly about Hannah, Dexter, Deborah, and the federal marshal who is after Hannah. So in this episode, we've got Dexter who is trying to get rid of all of his stuff, and it starts out with him trying to sell his boat. There's a guy going out there to look at it. They mention how a big storm, a hurricane is coming. Okay, and yeah, this is where my eyes start to roll as I remember what happens in the very last episode. But uh, there is a hurricane on its way, and the very last thing you hear in this episode is also a crack of thunder. And what's interesting is we've got Dexter being tailed by not only the federal marshal looking for Hannah, but we've got Vogel's son who's also after him. And as he's trying to sell his apartment, Vogel's son shows up as he's acting like one of the buyers and threatens Dexter and says, if you don't get out of my way and leave me alone. We can let bygones be bygones, or I'm going to kill everybody in your life, basically. And Dexter says, I can agree to that. He's not going to. Uh, He actually has dinner with Deborah that night. The next day, he plans on going with Hannah and his son and taking off to Argentina. And they have dinner together, and that's when Dexter says, I need you to go. I've kind of lured him here. Tonight's the last night. He knows I'm leaving, so he's going to come and try and take care of me tonight. Because what Dexter does is he set a trap. He actually found the laptop of Vogel's son that has all of his kills on it and anonymously sent it to the, you know, the uh, media outlets. And they start playing it, talking about it on the news. At the same time, before all of this happened earlier in the day, Vogel's son goes into the police department saying he wants to clear his name. Saying it's not him. Uh, He didn't do anything in, in regards to killing Vogel. And uh, that's when Dexter gets a swab from him and says, well, I can at least, you know, slow him down by showing that he has a match with family and that he was related to Vogel. So that does happen. And they do set out an arrest warrant for him. And then all of this stuff hits the media and he gets really upset. So he goes to kill Dexter. Well, Dexter is acting like he's sleeping in his bed. And just as he goes to stab him, you know, Vogel's son goes to stab him. Deborah's there and gets him by gunpoint. Dexter then takes off with him to his kill room. He's going to use, you know, where Vogel's son has been killing people for all these years. He's going to take him there and kill him there. But when he's there, he's getting ready to kill him and realizes, you know what, I don't even want to do this. I'd rather be with Hannah. So he goes, I don't need to kill you. And the guy's like, good, I can live another day. He goes, oh, no, you're still going to die, but you're going to die by the electric chair. And that's when he calls Deborah and says, why don't you come down, arrest him, and you can be the hero. Now, at the same time, while Deborah and Dexter are there, we've got the the federal marshal who kind of drives up as Dexter is leaving and goes in, and Deborah's outside calling the police department, and that's when the, the federal marshal goes in and sees Vogel's son, not knowing really who he is at this stage, strapped to the chair, and he's like, oh, I'm glad somebody came to save me. This this crazy guy was going to kill me. Did you see him leave? The marshal said, no, I didn't, but, you know, I'm here. I, I can get you out. And just as he gets him out, Vogel's son takes one of the knives that Dexter was going to use to kill him and turns around and stabs the federal marshal in the chest. And that's when Deborah walks in and tries to fire her gun at Vogel's son. And Vogel's son has a gun, uh, got it from the, the marshal, and ends up shooting Deborah in the side. She falls down. She's bleeding everywhere. It was just chaos in this episode. And Deborah or De- Dexter and Hannah are getting ready to leave. And the last scene in this episode is her at the airport looking at the flights, getting ready to leave. We also had Deborah's boss who actually stopped by Deborah's house and, and kind of note, noted that maybe Hannah was staying there. And that's kind of what got them all on their trail earlier in the episode. And so at the end of this episode, you've got the federal marshals are all there going through uh, Deborah's stuff. 
uh, looking for proof that they were there. And her boss does find, well, her ex-boss, now that she's back back with the police department, actually, she does see, they do see, he sees on her computer that they were looking at Argentina. And so they kind of have an idea of where they're headed. So we're going to see what happens in this last episode. Like I said, it the way they tried to wrap up these final two episodes is kind of chaotic. And you can tell they were just trying to get it done as quickly as they could. And uh, doesn't leave for the best finale. A lot of people hate this last episode, and I am one of those people. So I'm going to watch this final episode, and I will give you the recap on that one shortly as well. All right, we'll see you guys on the next recap.